What's going on, guys? It's Eddie with DIY Basics. Just want to go over uh, changing this toilet paper holder. You see how loose it is? It's a common problem in a lot of households. So I'm going to show you how, how to take care of it. Pretty much use a 564th uh, Allen key. Uh, makes it a lot easier than using those small Allen wrenches. And you just, uh, there's a little, little Allen nut under there. You just unscrew it. And it comes off of the bracket that's attached to the wall. That bracket is installed with anchors that come from the manufacturer, but they're not very good. So I like to use um, these wider togglers that are like wing spanned, and they have like a inch to inch and a half span. You'll see them in a little bit, and they actually work very well in a situation like this. So here I am just removing everything. A lot of times when you remove them, since the sheetrock is so loose and eaten away, the anchor will come out with the screw. So you'll have to use like a, a plier to hold on to the anchor while you unscrew it. So otherwise it doesn't want to release from the, from the screw. You see there? So the one screw came out on that one, but uh, this one was attached. The anchor is still in the wall here, so I was able to pull it out. But the one screw still has the anchor attached to it, so I just grab my pliers and uh, remove it. I'll show you taking care of that real quick. I am putting those wing anchors in. You just push them in and they expand. They work really well. I like to screw these in by hand because a lot of times if you use a gun you might put too much pressure on it and push the anchor through the wall, especially when the wall's a little on the weak side from from a previous uh, bracket and anchors that didn't work out. So I like to dial them in by hand and just torque them tight enough so that I can uh, put the paper, uh, put the toilet paper back on and it's nice and snug. Five sixty four. A lot of times you have to turn that screw out a little bit. It just doesn't want to catch around that bracket unless it's completely back set. So once you get it back set enough, then you put it in position, make sure it's nice and tight up against the wall. So when you screw it in, it doesn't pull away. You want it to to be nice and tight up against the wall. So when you screw it in and it bites, it's nice and snug up against the wall. You guys gotta try to give these uh, anchors a, uh, a shot. If you guys have a similar situation, um, they sell them at the depot. They're very good. Uh, and you shouldn't have a problem after that. See how nice and snug that is? compared to uh, what it was when we started. That's it, guys. I hope this video helped. Till the next one.